guys, thanks for coming. My name is Vanessa, if you have never been here before. And this is my channel, The Plantiness, where I talk about all sorts of different plant things, bits and pieces here and there. If that sounds like something you would be interested in, um, keep watching. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the different propagation things I currently have going at the minute. Uh, in this, I have three different types of propagation methods at the moment. If you would be interested in seeing a more in-depth explanation or a tutorial on any of these, let me know down below as I would love to do a video on it. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it. So the first method that I have is this butterfly method. I found this one on Instagram. This method is the butterfly method. I'm using this with my chain of hearts. So you just get your little hearts, you pop them in like a butterfly. And I find that this is really successful. I think the last batch that I did, I had a 100% success rate. I think all of them uh, propagated nicely. I'll show you some that I have from that. So this is one little pot that I have. As you can see that there's four different ones coming out. Obviously this one's grown a lot quicker than the others. I find that that method, you can get more strands and it, you'll have a fuller pot quicker than if you just propagate one strand at a time. So I much prefer this method. Method number two is the perlite method. So this one is very similar to Lekka. I just have a little reservoir of water and I put some of the sea soil in there as well, just to help encourage the roots to grow. So at the moment I have a pink princess. As you can see, the roots are slowly starting to grow out. And I really like that one. I just pop it in there, leave it be for a few weeks. I check on it every now and then, but I try and just leave it alone to do what it wants. This is a really easy method, doesn't take much. So this is another pink princess propagation that I've done and I have already potted this into a soil mixture. This is just my regular aeroid mix, nice and airy. And I keep this one a bit more moist just to keep encouraging those roots to grow. On to my last method is the, so I combine the Ziploc method with the perlite method and I just, have my perlite jar in the Ziploc bag just to make a little humidity tent thing. So I currently have this sitting on a heat mat as it is getting a bit cooler here in Australia just to keep this one nice and warm. I do have a Hoya Curtisia cutting in here. It's been in there for a few weeks now and I'm starting to get some little roots, which is exciting. I just, yeah, leave this one until the air in the bag deflates a bit and then I take it out let it get some fresh air, pop it back in, fill the bag back up with air, and then leave that one be and let it sit. So this is probably my favorite method as it does require the least amount of effort. And I think it makes them grow the quickest just because they are getting that extra humidity. And then obviously you're getting the mat, the heat mat. So they get the heat as well, which is really good. So that was it for today's video. So that was three propagation methods. If you guys were interested in seeing how I do any of these more in depth, make sure you let me know down below and I would be more than happy to do that video. And that is it for today, guys. So make sure that if you enjoyed this, you hit the like button, subscribe down below, and I will see you next Saturday. Bye.